Okay, so today we are going to be doing our, we're going to be making our own um, Endabili huts or houses inspired by the women in South Africa on the continent of Africa. They paint their homes in vibrant geometric designs, signaling lots of different things from their culture. So I hope you enjoyed the video that was linked down below and learned a little bit about them and just this beautiful art form. It was pretty inspiring. What do you think, Brady? Yeah. Yeah. Such an old custom that's just so beautiful. I'm so glad we get to do it today. So today we need paper. White is the best. Um, any size will work. Bigger the better. Uh, ruler. Black marker. We've got Sharpies. Scissors. Glue. Markers. And then you're going to need, if you're going to make the roof, you're going to need some type of brown piece of paper, although any color will work, but brown is usually the best. Let's do it. So with your paper landscape, you're going to fold it in half, corner to corner. Like so. Okay. And you're going to flip it so it has the open side towards you. Good. And we're going to cut the door. We're going to cut a little door flap. We're going to make like an upside down L and we're going to cut it so we can get into the hut. So down in the middle of the page here, I'm going to draw a line straight up and, and over. And then when you're cutting it, Brady, this is for you too. You're going to make sure that you cut through both the pieces, not just one. So hold it together and cut up. If you need help with that, just ask. Good. Okay, and then I'm gonna fold it so that it has a crease in it so the door will open and shut. Do you help? Okay, you wanna fold it so it opens like a door, right? And then what I'm gonna actually do is fold it backwards so I don't draw on it anymore. So it looks like there's a gap there, but it's really just hiding behind. Okay. Now with our ruler, you ready? We're gonna draw our glue space where we're gonna end up gluing our hut together. So with our ruler, I'm gonna line it up on the side, the left-hand side here, and I'm gonna draw a black line. Let me know if you want me to hold it. It goes from the top to the bottom. And I'm just gonna write glue here so I remember that this is the section I'm gonna glue and I'm not gonna color in that section. Perfect. Okay. So you can write glue or put something, smiley face, whatever will keep you from drawing in this section. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna draw two horizontal lines that are gonna extend from that black line all the way to the other side of the paper. I'm gonna line up my ruler with the top of the page, like that. And I'm just going to draw that straight horizontal line there. Oops. Like so. Very good. Oh, you need your ruler. I'm sorry. <laughs> I took it from you. My bad. I'm gonna hold it for you. Okay, then I'm gonna do that same thing again. I'm gonna do that same thing again, but on the bottom of the page. So line it up on the bottom, close as you can, and then extend it from that black line. You don't obviously need to draw on your table. You just pick it up when you hit the door frame, and then all the way to the other side. I can hold it for you if you want. Good. Excellent, good work. You got an itty bitty little door. It's going to make your house look really big because your door's small. We'll give it that perspective. Okay, so now we're going to make some vertical lines. Ready? I'm going to put my ruler vertical in the space between my glue line and my door. Anywhere in there is fine. And I'm going to draw a line that's going to extend from the top to the bottom. Great. And then I'm gonna do that same thing on the other side of the ruler. I didn't even pick up my ruler. If you did pick up your ruler, no big deal. Very good. 
good. And I'm gonna do that same thing again on this side. I'm gonna find a spot where I want it, and I'm gonna draw two vertical lines on either side of my ruler. I need you. You got it. It's always good to ask for help when you need it. Good. Um, okay, now I'm gonna do one more line. If you wanna use your ruler, you can. Um, and I just wanna put, I just wanna put a couple more lines going up here. So I'm gonna go all the way from the top of the paper to the door frame, top of the paper to the door frame. Can you one more? Sure, yeah, absolutely. If you feel like it needs it, you should definitely put it there. And if you wanna keep that section empty, you should. Okay, so now we're gonna make the letter X, some X shapes um, in some of the boxes. Now I like to do every other box. So if I put an X here, I'm gonna skip this box and I'm gonna put an X in this box. Right? And then, so yeah, some of your X's are gonna be really long and that's okay. So if this one, look, you've got a really large space, you're just gonna go from one corner to another. It's gonna look really awesome. And then I'm gonna do that there. And then I'm gonna skip the middle section of the paper. And I'm gonna do that same thing on the bottom. Very good, Brady, you know what you're doing. I'm going every other box. Skip. Okay, now you can keep it like this, but if you wanna make it look even more detailed like I have here, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna make kinda of like V's, the so letter V and you're gonna follow along those X's and make little V's or angles inside each of them. This kind of takes a while. But if this looks like it's too much detail, too hard, then you can skip this step. Okay, so once you've finished your X's and outlining them, if you felt like um, outlining them, you're gonna go to the two sections on the outside, not the glue section, but this one and this one right in the middle that are untouched. And I'm gonna have you put, um, you're gonna make some more V's, okay? So I'm gonna start from the up in the corner on the inside, and I'm gonna make a V or a less than symbol. You see it? So you're gonna go from here to here to here. I made like a sideways V or a perfect less than. Then, now we're gonna do our greater than symbol. So in the, the box over here on the other side, you're gonna start from the inside corner and you're gonna make another sideways V like so. From one corner to the edge to the other corner. Oh, right there. Nope, and then go that way and then that way. Very good. Okay, then move to the next box over. Next box over. So this one and this one, right? Okay. You're gonna make a smile from the top, from one corner to the other, or a U. And then a smile again on the other one. And if you have room, you don't have room on that one, which is fine you're gonna make a frown that connects. You can make a tiny, bitty little one. There you go, perfect, I love it. And then we're almost done, okay? So we just did like that kind of shape right there. So the last section we're gonna do is the one right here up above, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna make another angle. So you're gonna start from the top of the door, and go up to the middle, and then down to the other side of the door. Like triangle. Yeah, basically. I can be huge. Okay, now here comes the fun part. You get to color it in. Now they like to use very vibrant colors, so sky's the limit here. I did um, blue, yellow, orange, and purple for mine. 
but you don't have to follow any rhyme or reason. You can just make it as colorful as you want. Any colors you want? Yes. All right, I'm gonna use my favorite markers. I love these because they're so vibrant. Once you finish coloring your designs, don't forget to color your door. So open up that door again, or just turn it over and color in your door. You can color it any color, I'm just doing it brown. So the next step, once you're done with all your colors and you, you think it looks pretty cool, you like your design, you're going to just quickly put a little bit of glue stick to keep these two sides shut. Doesn't have to be a lot. Okay, so then the next step is we're gonna put the glue where? Where do you think you're gonna put the glue? Right here. Yep, this one you need a kind of a lot, so go to town on that. And I'm gonna do the same thing to mine. Glue on the glue. And then I'm going to, oh look, it got stuck. <laughs> then I'm going to just make a circle out of it here. Oh, and I'm going to attach one. one side to the other. And I like to hold it. Can we help you? Should stick. Here we go. So I made a nice circular shape, right? And my house, I think it's going to stay. If it, if it keeps flopping up and it's annoying, you know what you can do? You can staple it if you really want to. Or you can put paper clips on this um, until it dries. Up to you. So then with your brown piece of paper, and if you don't mind, I'm just going to do two at, two at once. Does that sound good, Brady? So you're going to take your brown piece of paper, and what you can do is, if you're going to make two roofs like I am, I'm gonna fold it in half. And sometimes it's good to just make two just in case you mess up on one. So I'm gonna fold it in half and I'm gonna take my house that I made, the circular house, and I'm gonna put it on there. And you can do this part with a pencil. I'm gonna do it with a Sharpie so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna outline it so I get a, a guide kind of of how big I need to be making this. Because I'm going to cut it. This part can be quick doesn't have to be whole. You can see it's real messy. Now when I cut this circle out, I'm going to cut like at least an inch around. I'm not going to follow along on the black line. I'm going to cut like at least an inch around because I want my head to have kind of like right here the overhang. And if you cut it right on the line, it's not going to have the overhang. Here we go. I'm going to go about an inch or more. Take your circle real quick. I don't need this anymore. Take your circle and you're gonna fold it in half and then fold it in half again. So it looks like a slice of pizza. So fold in half and then fold in half again. And we're done with our glue for now. Okay, and then open it back up. So you should have like a nice target shape in the middle, like a nice X. And I'm going to take my scissors yeah. and I'm going to cut along any one of those folds. Okay? Can we do it for you? Okay. I'm going to cut right along that fold. Oh, well, I'll take this one. You can have this one. Then I'm going to take my black or brown marker and I'm going to make short, fast lines like it's going to be like a grass top. Wait, right here? Yeah, yeah. Just like all over it. Just real short. I'll do it in black so you can see what I'm doing. You get to be fast and make like scribbly lines here. All right, excellent. Now find that original cut that you made, that big one that went almost to the middle. You're gonna take your glue stick 
glue sticks making some fun stuff. And on one side, put some glue. Put some glue. So on one side of the cut. Put a little bit more than that. You want to make sure this really sticks. And then you're just going to fold that on top of the other one. Like that. Yep, you did it. Put it up here, like that. Right? You just folded, you just took one side and you put it on top of the other side. And you have a, a roof. Now, I attached this roof with a hot glue gun. I know. But you don't have to. If you've got the time and the patience, you can do white glue. You just make a ring of white glue around the top and you put it on and you wait. Or you can have a roof that comes off and on. That one's still drying now. So what do you think, Brady? Yeah, so it looks good. So enjoy. Um, I hope you've learned a lot and had fun. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Stay safe and healthy. Until next time. Bye. Bye.